Hi, I'm Bob in Osterhout. I want to talk to you about the role of tension in headaches. Um, there are some headaches that are caused totally by tension, and when you resolve the pattern of tension, and a pattern of tension is a habit of how we hold ourselves up, basically. Uh, I'll explain that a little bit more in detail. Um, uh, so there can be headaches that are tension headaches that are exclusively caused by muscle tension. Uh, but there are other causes of, of headaches, some of them known, some of them unknown. Uh, I've worked with people who have close head injuries, for example. Um, and tension will make those headaches worse and can also serve as a trigger uh, for those headaches. I've worked with people uh, who have epilepsy and uh, have found that uh, tension increases uh, the likelihood of, of their epileptic episodes and also headaches. Uh, so, and tension can increase, uh, can be a trigger for, uh, for migraines as well, even though the causes of those can, can come from a variety of different places. Uh, so, so tension and headaches um, uh, is, is a good thing to understand uh, because if you can eliminate it, you can uh, prevent headaches, you can resolve headaches, uh, or at the very least usually uh, decrease the intensity of the headache. So I'd like to give you a sense of, of what happens uh, when you tense and, and how that can cause a headache. Um, when I teach the, the exercise portion of my class, we usually spend some time identifying uh, patterns of tension that contribute to headaches. And if people show me where their head hurts, I can pretty much deduce from the, the muscles that, that are involved there how they're tensing. So I'll try to illustrate uh, uh, some of that. Uh, but basically, uh, our body likes to be in neutral. And neutral uh, is where we're not using any tension to hold us up. Okay, so if I'm talking to you like this, I'm using energy. My muscles are working to hold my shoulders up. When I'm like this, my shoulders are hanging from my head. Okay, uh, if I slouch, okay, now I'm using energy to my lower back to hold me up, and I'm using energy up in here to hold me up. My head is coming forward, I'm using energy to hold my head up. But if I have my pelvis in the base of the chair, my spine comes up from my pelvis, my head sits on top of my spine, my shoulders hang from my head, my muscles don't need to work. So the idea is to have yourself in a position so your muscles need to, don't need to work. One key there is, is having your pelvis in the flat, basically you're sitting on your sit bones, uh, so your pelvis forms a solid base. And having your feet flat on the floor actually makes a difference too, because if you lift up your heels or lift up your toes, you're tensing the muscles in your legs. And that can create a whole pattern of tension that actually can create a headache. Uh, uh, so remembering to, to sit in a balanced position, and I don't say sit up straight because then people tense to hold themselves up, which is the opposite of what you want to do. Okay, so here are some common things that I, that I see with headaches. One of the most common is the shoulders come up, and you see people when they become anxious or frustrated, you know, it starts real subtle and then it just builds and builds, and most of the time they're not aware of it, and I say, oh, let your shoulders down. Oh my God, yeah, okay, and then lean back, and if you bring your chin down, okay, when you lean your head back and bring your chin down, it kind of sets it on top of your spine, and now your muscles don't have to work to hold you up. Um, it's real common for people who work on uh, computers, and I have a tendency to do it myself with counseling, to lean in. Okay, so to see it from the side, I have a real tendency to kind of lean in like this. But you look, there's, there's nothing holding up the weight of my head except these muscles, and I can feel it right back there. Okay, so I, on a regular basis, I lift my shoulders up, bring them, let them drop, bring my head, and bring it back down, and kind of shake that all out. And then I try to lean like this as much as I can. Uh, but to the extent I do that, I also need to go back and go the other way. So there's a balance with those movements. And so if you're sitting at a computer and all day you're leaning in and you never go the other way, you're creating some chronic tension in those neck muscles. And that ten those muscles connect to other muscles and there's a combination of things and it, it becomes a pattern. Uh, that, and those muscles will go into spasm and, and cause uh, 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 muscles in your head to, to throb with pain. And, and so that all can be avoided uh, by simply being aware 
of your body's neutral position and, and working with it uh, and trying to be consistent with that. Um, uh, some other common uh, uh, triggers to headaches are, are people frown when they're, they're trying to concentrate or something like that. So these muscles here get involved and that triggers these back here. Um, another one is, is, is holding your jaw. You know, we get kind of determined and I'm going to make this happen. Well, that goes all the way up through here and back and, and can create headaches all through that area. Um, and uh, so uh, finding and practicing the neutral position and the, uh, the video on grounding will help you to, uh, to understand that and, and to work with that some. Uh, and then uh, being aware of your posture, particularly if there are situations where you tend to have headaches. So if you have headaches after, after coming home from work, well, let's look at how you're sitting at work. If you have headaches uh, uh, when you're doing a particular activity, look at your posture during that activity and, and how it may be throwing you out of balance. And then do the opposite movements if, if you can't control that. So if you have to come forward, then lean back, okay? Um, one other real common uh, form of headaches is people kind of lift their head up okay and that creates a pattern of tension across here that then goes up you know it's 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 like I've got a um, and so uh, your head naturally sits on top of your spine your shoulders hang from your head if your spine is supported by your pelvis your pelvis is supported by your chair or your legs and your feet are flat on the floor your body doesn't need to have any excess tension and you can prevent and help to resolve headaches so I hope that's helpful to you good luck